Okay, YouTube. Uh, so today I'm going to give a quick uh, video tutorial. And uh, I skipped a few parts, but I'm going to explain them real quick because I decided to put this on kind of after the fact I already did one. Uh, this is going to be a quick, short video tutorial on how to change the rotors and uh, pads on a 2003 Jaguar S Type. This one is the V8 4.2 liter. Um, this would apply to all Jaguar S Types with the exception of the Type R, which has the Brembo Sport brakes on it. Um, so what we're doing today is we're going to replace the rotor, the pads, and we're going to upgrade the rotors to some cross-drilled and slotted zinc-plated rotors. Uh, first and foremost, um, this isn't going to be really a step-by-step -step because if you don't know how to remove a wheel, you probably shouldn't be doing brakes anyway. So I've already removed the wheel, and this particular rotor on the Jaguars is free-floating. So what I've already done is I've removed the, uh, the, the uh, caliper and the piston right there. Okay. Um, I would have showed you that, but I decided, like I said, decided to do the video after the fact. Um, basically, there's just two pin, two bolts that hold that in. It's on right on the top of the, um, I believe it's a caliper bracket. I'm not really sure what the exactly is the whole unit's called the caliper. This is my first brake job. Uh, it's actually really easy. Uh, basically, there's two bolts. And you can see I have it hung by a coat hanger right here because you want to pull it out of your way, not disrupt your brake lines. Uh, you don't want to drop it or anything like that where you can actually uh, cause a leak and do some damage. So I have it tied up here out of the way. Um, you can see the twin pistons on this particular car and then of course um, the two you see the eyelets right here these are where the two bolts were and they're connected to where you'll see your um, your pin right here your pit I believe it's the uh, caliper pin okay I don't think you see that that well do the best here again this is not going to be a wonderful video but it's going to give definitely um, the basics on somebody who's looking to do a brake job on a Jaguar it's, it's super 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 easy all right, so what I've done, again, I've removed the wheel. I removed the caliper pistons right here on top. So you have the two bolts right here, okay? And they would go into here. Into your, I believe it's called a guide pin. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but that would go through right here. And what you do is, what I've done is I've unbolted, I've loosened both, okay? And then I've unbolted the bottom one completely, and this will open up like a clam. Then you can pull out your worn brake pads, and you can see... Mine are pretty worn. They still had a little bit of life, but I wanted to replace them because everything was getting kind of kind of ugly under here, and it was time. Um, generally, the setup that I can't, I, mine came with didn't really come with any kind of hardware other than the pads and the rotors. But I'm going to reuse. These are actually in really good condition. These, um, I'm not exactly sure what you call them, to be honest with you, but there's these little clips here that uh, they're like a spring clip that I'll attach to the new uh, pad. Okay. So once the uh, piston's out of the way. You're going to want to remove the actual, uh, I believe it's called the knuckle, but don't quote me on that. It's part of the caliper. Uh, again, I'm going to get a billion comments on here that I don't know the terminology, but the point is, is that it's really easy to do, and I'm going to show you how to do it, okay? So I'm going to put this down the best I can here. You probably won't be able to see what I'm doing, but we're going to just kind of give it a whirl there. So I've already loosened these here. There's one bolt right there. And get the second bolt out. All right, let me go get some, uh, some gloves on here because things get pretty dirty. And I've actually already detailed this car and detailed a lot of the undercarriage and you just can't remove uh, th 10, 11 years of grime. So so once these two are, bolts are removed, you'll see this part, part of the caliper I believe, comes right out, we'll set that aside. And now the rotors, this one, there, these are free floating rotors on this car, so the wheels actually holds them on. In this case, um, it wasn't frozen on there at all, otherwise you might have to hit it with a rubber mallet. This one's gonna slide right off really easily. I mean, these rotors aren't in horrible condition, but I just wanted to upgrade them to something nicer looking. So we'll set that aside. Okay. So once that's out of the way, let me see what we're looking at here. Okay, you can kind of see what I'm doing. Once that's out of the way, um, what I've done, and you don't have to do this, is my uh, dust uh, shield right here is really, really corroded with a lot of, I shouldn't say corroded, but it's got a lot of grime on it. Um, it would be really nice to take this off and to pressure wash it 
but I'm kind of strapped for time. I'm not going to go through all that. What I am going to do is kind of clean it with a little bit of brake cleaner. Then I'm just going to put a little bit of ring of uh, black spray paint on it, just because you do see some of this past the, uh, the rotor, and it looks really ugly. The rear ones aren't too bad, but the fronts were pretty dirty on this. Like I said, I've already detailed this car. Um, so we're going we're gonna to go to that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have to edit this video together. For now, I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and uh, then I'll, I'll edit it together, and then we'll start on to the next step. Because um, I don't want to sit here and leave the thing running when I'm just going to be spray painting. Um, this is a perfect time now to paint the calipers. Um, what I am going to do is, because I have this part of the caliper off, I'm going to give it a, a decent cleaning. And uh, then I'm going I'm to basically spray paint it with some gold. I'm doing gold calipers on this. Kind of like my motorcycle has a gold caliper. I think it's going to kind of look pretty nice. I've already done the other side. Um, uh, yeah. Um, well, I'm just kind of deciding if I want to go through the whole process. I'm going to explain what I'm going to do, and if I edit it together, uh, then so be it, okay? So I'm going to pick this back up here. And uh, basically the next step to this process is once I paint the, the dust shield and I paint the caliper, again, you're going to want to mask off the pistons. Um, and really, not much. you don't have to paint the entire caliper because you're really only going to see a little bit of it. Really only going to see the top of it and the side. And then, of course, this part, you're really, really going to see this side over here in the top. So that's what I did on the other side. Um, once that's done, the rotor basically, your new rotor just basically goes right onto the car, uh, just like so. Okay, pretty self-explanatory there. It only goes on one, one way. Let's hope you know which way that is. Um, and uh, once you do that, then, of course, it's time to go ahead and uh, put the new pads on. Again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to retain these springs. Okay, put those on. I'm going to clean them. I'll put them on the new one, and I'm going to pull out the guide pins, clean those. Then I'm going to go ahead and use some um, brake grease. Um, other guys recommended like a silicone paste. Uh, this is all the place had that I went to, so it's just brake and cal caliper grease. Um, it's not quite as like it's not clear. It's a dark grease, um, but it does the job. It's fine. And I'm going to re-lubricate with those uh, guide pins, and they're very easy. You just pull them right out. It's just a rubber grommet. They they pop right out. No big deal. You're not going to hurt anything. Once you pull those out clean them, grease them, this, and you don't have to, if you're not going to paint them, you can easily just put them right back in there. Um, if you see any kind of areas where the pads actually touch, any kind of area where you have uh, surface or any kind of metal touching, you're going to want to grease, okay? And so in this case, it's going to be the lower portion of the pads right here. Um, and where the actual uh, pistons touch, you're going to want to grease the back of the, the, uh, the new brake pads. And uh, once that's all said and done, it's really easy. You're just going to pop the new, once the caliper is back on, um, rotor goes back on. This part of the, of the uh, caliper gets bolted on just like before. And then, of course, the piston gets bolted back on there. And what I do is, once you get it bolted on, I undo the lower bolt and spring it open again and tie it with the uh, coat hanger so it's held open and you can drop your pads right in there. Before doing that, the pistons will have to be pushed back down. So what you're going to want to do is pop the master cylinder res reservoir, okay? Uh, make sure you don't drop anything in there. You don't want to get moisture inside the system. Um, pop that, and you're going to use a piston press like this right here. What that does, it goes in between here, and you put the old pad right in there, and you, you go back and forth. So you screw, this, this basically screws down and pushes the piston back in. Uh, when you get it bottomed out, then you go ahead and cap your master cylinder again in, in the, uh, under the, uh, the hood. And then once you do that again, you um, then you're you want actually you want to do that before you go putting it back together and putting your pads in. Uh, then you put that back on, clam it open, and then put your pads in, close it, and it's all bolted back together. Um, roughly, I'm not sure exactly what the spec is on this car as far as torquing. Um, the caliper bolts, which I believe this is the knuckle, or in a truck it would be called a spindle, I believe. But in this case, I believe it's called a knuckle. Um, I've read a safe number is about 80 to 90 foot pounds of torque. And then on the, uh, the actual uh, piston, uh, you're going to want to bolt that on with about 20 foot-pounds. What I did is hand, uh, hand tight and a quarter turn, um, but once I find the specs, I'll make sure I put a torque wrench on it and get it perfect. Again, the car's going to be sitting for about a couple days while I get this com completely finished. Um, so, again, hopefully I'll edit all this together where you'll actually see me doing it. But if I don't get around to doing that, I've already done one side. And here's what it looks like. Much, much better. It's all clean, no more rust. The caliper looks really good in gold. I think it's a good color for this car. You know, I was thinking about doing red or yellow, but it's a really classy car, and I think gold's really nice. 
Um, what I did is I used a gold uh, spray paint and I used a clear coat on top. So when you put the clear coat on it, it actually makes it not so shiny. It makes it more of like a like a uh, subdued gold because before it just looked bling. It looks really gaudy. But when you put that clear coat on it, it changes the way the paint the paint looks. So I think it turned out really good. Um, I still have to break in the, the pads once I get the other side done. We'll take it on a spin and do that. Um, I forget exactly how to do that, but I'm going to look it up online. There's a lot of information online. So again, this is my first brake job on this on any car, and uh, I'm pretty surprised how easy it's going together. And uh, shoot, if you have any questions, again, I know that wasn't like a perfect professional video because um, I, I got nobody filming me here, and I'm just trying to do this with an iPad. And uh, But it gives you the basics on what to do. If you have to, brakes on your Jag, really simple. Now the rear, there's another tool up to do that. I'm not going to do that today, but I'll uh, put up another video uh, for the rear uh, brake uh, rotors and uh, pads uh, probably later on in the week. All right, if you have any comments, go ahead and drop a, uh, or if you have any questions, go ahead and drop a comment. If I can help you in any way, definitely uh, let me know. And uh, again, thanks for watching. Take care.